Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here, and welcome to my let's play of End Roll. Now, this is another Jamaica very dark, very horror ish themed game. So, I would advise that if you're not into something like suicide or gore or any sort of negativity like that around that sort of area, then I would advise clicking off this video immediately. So, End Roll, I've seen it around on Tumblr, and also somebody requested me to play this game, so I thought, why not give it the benefit of the doubt? So let's get into the end roll and see how our friend Russell is coping. This is made in RPG Maker 2000 by Segawell, I believe it's called, and translated by VG Person. Hey kid, get walking. Boy, honestly, a private room for a kid like you? That's a real luxury, buddy. Alright, we're here. You're gonna live here starting today. Although I would say that a the, uh, the shadow is a bit blurry in comparison to the text on the screen. Hey buddy, you know what they call this? Karma. Considering the stuff you did, can't really object to the experiment, huh? Yeah, well, good luck in there and all. So long, you crazy person. I'm not a fan of saying profanity words. In all. Hi there. Good morning, deranged manic. How do you like this room? Is it not embarrassing for you to live in such comfort? Now then, the medicine you must inject, Happy Dream, has a powerful sleeping effect. Amazingly, after the injection, you will experience the Happy Dream phenomenon. As the name implies, you will have a perfectly happy dream. Why? You scarcely even desire to use such a great, happy, happy wonderful medicine? You will administer it once per day, so please enjoy your day. That's all for now, so let's happy dream. Okay, thanks. Okay, we can't click on anything at the moment. Bed? Uh, can I... Can I leave? The door won't open. Time for the injection, oh dear. A syringe with medicine. Should I inject it? I think I should. Injected today's dosage. Okie dokie. Oh, oh, excuse me one moment. Eh, sorry to startle you. You're Russell, yes? My name's Theria, from Dream Sent Guidance. It's good to meet you. It's my job to support you here in this happy dream, so hi! Oh, well, I'm here, but I don't know what I should do... Not to worry, that's what everyone says at first. That's what the Dream Sand Guidance is for. <laughs> here in this dream, you are a new inhabitant who just moved here today, you see. Which means you should go greet people. So, greet the people around town. Yes, that would be nice. I still have things to do, so you just do your thing, okay? Well, see you, Russell. Have a good dream. Thanks. I love to have my own dream. Can I... Can I save? Already injected today's dosage. Um, how do we... How do we save? Is that a thing? Can we save in the game? Like, any commandments? Will there be anything? Um... Strangely enough, K is up and L is right. J is down. H is... Okay, those are default controls. M, M, B, V, C, X, Z, tilt, nothing, shift. Uh, shift doesn't do anything. The mailbox is empty. Will not open. Okay, so we have two friends here as well. A balloon. Russell, a boy lacking in emotion. Having a pleasant dream after injecting a medicine called Happy Dream. 4 foot 9, age 14. Okie dokie, what about you? A, m a mailbox with a password. What's with this? Well, I don't know the password because what the heck? The game has already given us an intense puzzle to solve. And I'll read it as the bus's house. Mail. The mailbox is empty. And how do we do here today? Here, any time to look after or treat injured animals or for anything else, Tabasa. Hey, you're a new face. When'd you get here? 
Hmm, so you just came today. Well, pretty good place, right? I'm Tabasa. I take in and raise a bunch of the animals living near town. Feeling restless in the new place? New place? I could tell you all sorts of stuff, so don't hesitate to ask a thing. There's a lot of stuff on the desk. Detailed data on the animal's health, division of feed, etc. Yeah. A big steel drum. Is anything inside? Steel drum. Animals in there. The things inside the cell are looking at me and muttering something. Okay, that's not happy. I know you because I saw saw everything. Don't stare at me, please. I'm making love with my wife. Okay. The pile of boxes all labelled animal feed. Uh, key rings for Cajun cardboard boxes. Wow, we can explore wherever here. Yeah, I love a kind of 3D resolution by going for this here. A pile of mini boxes all labelled animal feed. Nothing here, I imagine. Lysos. But how do we save our game's progression? That's what I want to know. Like, there's nothing we can do to save the game. Oh, golly, golly, golly. Let me read it, read me, and I'll be back one sec. So you can use Escape or X to save, but unfortunately. Oh. When I was over here, I couldn't do it. So why was that a thing where I couldn't save a game some points? No, see, I can't save in here. I can't I can do that. I tried that earlier, but that didn't happen. Okay, we'll just live with it. Thank you, read me. You may now be gone. Hence, it may only, it may only operate if I do that. Okay, don't we save. Sheep! Ah, no image. Why is there no image for the sheep? What have they done? What have we done? Meh. I'm not, so sure, I wasn't, I'm not sure when this game was made, but it's been around for, I think, a few years, if I'm not mistaken. Or translated into English a few years. Uh, can I go up? Can I go over here? Can, yeah, can I go through to another, another section of the game? Uh, some unknown vegetables buried in the ground. I believe they're carrots. Uh, and I believe they're beetroot. A common a field for everyone. And this shop over here. Herbs and plants. Cody's house. So what's in this shop? Eyeballs. It's labelled. Add to... I can't pronounce that. Homewood Rooty. Rooty. Homewood Rooty. This one seems to be sold out. Bottles fill of a pretty pink liquid. A uh, bunch of strange stuff is on the table. Who are you? What are you here for? New resident, huh? No wonder I've never seen you. My name is Cody. I harvest and sell the plants that grow around this town. If there's anything you need, you can come by and I'll sell it. But if you want to buy, you better bring walnuts. I won't give out any freebies. Okay, I have no walnuts. I was wondering what walnuts were, and they have a currency for this game. It's labelled Baladon Greens. It doesn't seem to be for sale. Nope, they're just decorations. Why do you sell eyes? I don't need the eyes. I don't need a candy which resembles the human eye, or any sort of animal eye, actually. Herbal medicine shop, Catrius, Catrius House? I'm not good with pronouncing names sometimes. A statue of a beckoning cat holding a coin. What is this thing? What is this thing over here and why does it exist? Unknown herbs and various bottles, they have a peculiar smell. A small what? What kind of plant is it? Unsure. Okie dokie. A, bu a, a buell is weirdly opened. Adds for herbal medicine. Hello, kitty cat. Ah, do I see a new resident? Well met, young one. You may call me Katria. I work in the selling of medicines. It's a pleasure, it is. Medicines, wherever they are. 
They are not especially powerful. It's what you'd call herbal medicine. Merely remedies which treat minor injuries like chillness or rough skin. No, it's really nothing much. But you should need such things. You may summon for me any time. I shall try to provide my aid. Provide my assistance. Provide my services. And I shall provide my herbal remedies for you to heal yourself when you go into battle. So I presume there's going to be a battle element to this. Yes. Sort of reminds me of Grey Garden and Wooden Heart in such a way where you find items. Although in that case, those were city items. And of course, you just go out. But the main element of that game is it's not the battle industry the story. Hmm, something's falling down beside the boxes. Obtain a jack in a box! Uh, can I equip a jack in a box? Throw it to make an enemy falter. Okay, so it's an item we can use on the enemies. Sink. Hob. A big jar is labeled Rooty. Why has everyone got Rooties? Are they universal? Huh? Someone I don't know. Hello there. I'm Gardener. I'm 14 and I love to cook. Let's get along. From what I can tell, you're about my age too, right? Will you be friends with me? Let's be friends. Ah, oh, really? I'm so glad. I've never had a friend my age. Yay! Oh yeah, once you're used to town, you should come try my cooking. I'll do my very best for you, my friend. Yay, we have a new friend now. Her name is Gardenia. How do you want to pronounce her name? Oh, Russell, what's up? Do you need me? What's your specialty? Hmm, I'm good at bunch, but probably meat pies. I learned from scratch from Dad. Of course, I can't make them any better than Dad can. After all, he's a pro. But someday, I'm going to be a fantastic cook like my dad. Cheer for me, Russell. Hmm. So she couldn't be another person that's been injected. Gardenia's house. Fields. Fields of carrots and beetroot. What the heck is that? What kind of house is that? <laughs> what in a dream world? Anything is possible, but... I don't think a glass tube can support that many bricks. Yeah, that's definitely elevated. That's not on the ground. That's some support or what? Saxon and Murrelly's house. What the heck? Uh... What's it with these accessories in their eyes? Just staring at me. Going left to right. Oh, the but one of the few things that creeps me out in these games are eyes. Eyes and broken mirror sounds. They're the two most startling things. Like, you just see an eye just focused and staring at you. It just really creeps me out for some other reason. I don't know how to pronounce it. To, to explain it, sorry. Steady looking shells, they seem to be made from metal, so they're cold to the touch. Yep, they all are. Roses in the corner, okay, nothing. Mirror, nothing, okay. Uh, shelves, okay, nothing. Chair, nothing. Table, nothing. You. Hmm. An unfamiliar face. Is it you? Are you the boy who wants to move in today? My name is Saxon. I serve as this town's mayor. It's good to meet you. While it wouldn't be immediate, we'll have to issue you an ID card soon enough. Around here, you need an ID card to go into other towns, just in case there's any trouble. Thank you for the advice, says Saxon. Seems to be locked, but that's fine. We can make do with that. If I can get out, that'd be even better. <laughs> Hello there. Hey, kid, hold up a sec. Ain't seen you around these parts where you're from. If I don't like your answer, just, just kidding. It, I've been hearing about you. Nice to meet you. My name's Yumi. I'm a town's, well, I guess you might call me the resident police. I do this and that to keep the peace. So if you can spare any time, you ought to come help me out. Hey, how you doing and what you need? About keeping the peace? Uh, well, this town is rather peaceful for my part. It's kind of a bummer. 
kind of want a deadly scruffle sometimes. Of course, peace is good and all. Might be a bore, but it doesn't mean I hate it or nothing. It's cheese. In my nature to want something to spice up a routine, you know. Kid like you, you might get where I'm coming from, right? Um, I don't understand your lingo, but I shall just do what you want me to do. That might be the police station. Uh, Turch, Dogma's house. Yumi's house. Looks like they're out. There's a note saying, Out patrolling for the town's safety. Okie dokie, I'll show. Hold on to that and hello there. Hmm. What does the master think of me? Loves me? Loves me not? Loves me? Ah, uh, wah! Who are you? How long have you been here? D did you see that? But please don't tell anyone, I beg of you. Ah, uh, uh, excuse me, my name is Marley. It's nice to meet you. Ah, uh, I work as a servant at Mr. Saxon's house, so if you need me, you'll find me there. You will forget that, won't you? Promise, you must. Ah, good day. What is it? About your master, Mr. Saxon. He's a very kind gentleman. He's a very kind gentleman. He's also the town's mayor. Though he is a bit frail, I always wish I could be a bit more helpful to him. He's a generous man, so he's letting me stay at his house, but I, if I'm not more helpful, I feel I'll be abandoned some day. Don't worry, you will not be abandoned this day. Uh, let's just talk to Saxon once again. Mm, it's you, what do you need of me? What's an ID card? It's just what it sounds like. It's a proof of your identity as a civilian, a citizen in this town. Further, you require one to go to other towns in the area. Naturally, we do not yet have an ID card for you yet. We will soon, so be looking forward to it. Indeed, in this world anything is possible, but why resonate the eye in your perfect dream? So that's how we get to that side. This is the game wanting me to go in a specific direction. And in here is someone else's home. Hey, a lovely orchestra. A magnificent pipe organ. It's polished and shiny. It is all lovely. A goddess statue made of stone is polished and shiny. It's best not to touch it, really. Uh, now who's this? As you can see, I'm praying. If you have any business, save it. I see a new resident. Introductions, Ben. My name is Dogma. I am a, a priest at this church. If you have any interest, even if you may enter the faith at any time, God will gladly accept all. Seems I've greeted everyone. What should I do now? You, what do you want from me? Just saying hi. Hmm, that's admirable. True pity begins from diligent attendance of mass, so never forget that spirit. However, I've yet to finish with today's cleaning. Don't look too hard under the piles. I uh, just want to talk. Hmm, by which? Have you come for confession, or perhaps to hear God's teachings? What, neither? I don't understand you much. Anyways, I'm busy. Leave if you have no business, or at least help me clean. Oh, just be on my merry way, then, if you have nothing else to say. You're busy with your schedules and things, but, you know, we're all good in that. I just want to talk. Oh, so you've introduced yourself to everyone in town. Good work. Aren't they all so kind? You didn't tell anyone about the flower thing, did you? My secret is safe with you. Maybe I should do it inside now, but the master could find me. Hmm. How dare, just want to talk. Um, let's chat about something. Come to think, Tabasca was telling me he had to go to Dozing Forest. When have he's left already? He's always such a listless kid. Huh. Ought to be a mute more energetic considering he's still young. 
Yep, young people are always one of those who are always the most energetic. Looks like there's a forest this way. Don't we need to go there, though? We don't have an ID card, so there's no point in going over there. Oh, dear me. Otherwise, we will be a lost soul in this realm. Let's sort of everyone else first a second time. That house looks like a potato. Uh, hello? What's up? Do you need me? Let's talk about something. Say, what food do you like, Russell? I mean, no offense, but you're a little scrawny. You should eat better meals. As long as it's not too tricky, I'll gladly make it for you. Because, you know, we're friends. Um... Huh? What? Didn't you just want to see my face? Oh, good. Okay. Oh, dear me, me. You're too... You're too into it. You? What of it? Let's talk about something. Hmm, something matter. You seem somehow restless. Have you some worry? Oh, I understand well. Having concluded your introductions, you know not what to do. Mape not some... Mayhap not... Maybe not such a bad thing. If you wish, you may accompany me for tea and whatnot. Yes, I would love to have a fine tea delicacy with you. And you in here? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Say, are you doing? Are you done introducing yourself to everybody yet? Let's see. That means you met my brother. Yeah, you know, at the church. The sort of grumpy guy. He's a little over serious and can, and can be awfully blunt. But don't be too put off. Thank you for that. Okay, so are we done with introductions for one day? I think we are. Let's go back down south. Have you got anything else? Hey, Russell, you done talking to everyone in the town? Hmm, you did that, but now you don't know what else to do. <laughs> well, do you want to come with me to Do Dozing Forest? See, God Nias tells me she lost one of her hair ornaments in there, and for some reason it fell on me to go get it for her. You want to go? It will, be, it will be like a walk. I'll go with. Oh, cool, that'd be helpful. For more, the better when you're looking for something. Let's get going then. There's some dangerous stuff in the forest, so be careful. Jo T Tabasa joined. Yay! Our friend is now with us, and now we are going to play games and whatnot. Diary. Save. Is there anybody else in which I... Oh, the, she the sheep are gone! And this way is open. Hey, you two. Heard you're going to Dozing Forest. Careful out there. Sure, shouldn't be anything too dangerous in those parts. But skedaddle if, they, if things get hairy. Huh. <laughs> Getting bossed around by Gardnia. Tabasco. you got a long way to go. Okay. Let's just talk to everybody else first. Before we actually go in. You're going to the forest, I see. Ah, and helping out Tabas Tabasco? A kind of thing, a kind of thing to do. Do your best. But the forest is noisy as of late. Untold monsters have been appearing, and even in incarnas are occurred, have occurred. In any event, take utmost care if you're going. Do not push your limits. You have to push your limits in life if you want to achieve something bigger. I'm joking. Um, yeah, be cautious at sort of times. At times, okay. Anybody else have a conversation they would like to see? What's with this lineup? You're going somewhere? To Dozing Forest, hmm. I don't know why you'd be going, but you should at least take some trial pills with you. They sell them at a medicine shop. Well, but you two might be able to get some for free. How are we, British? Because we're residents here, that should be an optimistic of them. I don't think we're going to be for free. Ah, tis you, what of it? Show me medicines. Sure. Take a careful look. <laughs> we have no money! Mm, I see. Health comes first, so treat your body well. Mm -hmm. We don't have any money, so therefore we can't pick it out. What's with this giant potato? Wow, what's the occasion? You two going somewhere? Somewhere. You already forgot your request. You're too young to be going senile. Eh, did I request something? Russell, you say something for me. 
Um, uh, no, 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 no. Mention the ornament. Nice weather. Huh? Where are we going? Mention the ornament. Oh, right. That's right. Which means you're headed to, for Dozing Forest. Thank you. Yes, my favourite. So tell me if you like to find it. That's a bold claim considering you forgot all about it. Go for it, you two. I heard there are dangerous animals in Dozing Forest, so be careful. If you're unsure, it'd be nice to buy some of Dr. K I keep forgetting the names. That's the best stuff for injuries. But if you were to shop around here, you'll need walnuts. Animals will drop them. Ah, so that's how... That's how we get walnuts. By defeating opponents. So if you want to heal, you have to damage, be damaged first. Good. Let's talk to everyone else. Oh, what is it, you two? Are you heading out somewhere? Ah, you're going to Dozing Forest. Please be careful. Um, I apologise if this, if, this, if this is too nosy, but do you have any travel pills? Um, Dr. Kajira sells them at his medicine store, so please prepare. There's no harm in doing so. But I don't have any money to prepare. That's the problem. I don't have any money to prepare. Hmm, Miss Bear, I somehow doubtful you have any business in this holy place. Ah, Gardnia's ornament. I do recall her saying she lost it in Dozing Forest. What of it? So you decided to find it in the young girl's stead. Admirable. God shall acknowledge your good deed. Even though your scrawny face is definitely something to not appreciate. Okay, we're going to do that then. We're going to go into the forest in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying End Roll, and we shall see each other in the next time. Have a wonderful day, and take care of yourselves.